Hi everyone and welcome back to the board game spotlight game night. So we are here on a Saturday. Yeah, it's a little off uh, schedule, but you know, it's not off schedule. It's we like didn't. A, we did something it. last Saturday last time. Yeah, <gasps> this is two Saturdays in a row. Nice. What? Yeah, we needed a little bit of a break. We've been streaming a lot the last couple of weeks. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, so we decided to take a couple of days off, bring it to you Saturday night. But we are playing Skull Callow from Pencil First Games, which is a two-player only game and it's it our is jam so much fun this is our jam this is my favorite uh pencil first games yet uh mm -hmm. this was designed by keith mateka um and eduardo barath uh did some development on it and the idea actually came i believe from one of edo's kids uh like this really? whole yeah inspiration um it has a that. pretty awesome inspiration of shadows of the colossus if you've ever played that video game uh it's inspired by that a little bit feels like that uh, but yeah, this is a two-player game, so mm -hmm. this is this is straight up Lizzie and I. This is our alley, and right? it is like 100% asymmetrical. So I am playing so the Fox and Heroes, so I'm definitely the good guys here. And oh, Derek? Matt, Matt Felici's here. So there's a lot of people at Essen that are watching right now. Hey, everybody. Uh, I don't know if you can't sleep or whatever, but thanks so much for everybody that's here. Uh, I see some new and returning faces, and for those of you who are watching this post live on face or on uh, twitch or youtube thanks for watching we're really excited to show this one off uh yeah but very asymmetric you're playing yes. as fox and heroes i'm the fox and heroes so i'm the good guys derek is whoa 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 i'm the heroes it says it in my name heroes you're just assuming you're the good guys listen it I is canonical been, it is in the game it, the I, heroes i am heroes this is my you land you understand what get, heroes mean get don't off my you? land this is mine. Look at me. I'm literally part of the earth. No, you're like not. Raptor uh Raptora, uh Tanthos, uh Grag uh well oh, man, what's the other hero's name? Let me have the rule book. I want to see what the other heroes. These uh guardians, I'm called a guardian for a reason. Uh, this is my house. You're in my house right now. Hero. Apoda, Grack. Yeah, look, here's here's the uh you've got uh Raptra. Here's the guardians, man. Like, I don't know. You can't assume that you're good. You can't assume I you're think good. I can. Heroes. I don't know. I mean, you tell us in the comments whether or not the Fox and Heroes are the good guys in this situation. You woke me. I was chilling. Um, no, I sat in my city. Out. I don't even, like, leave. I come out to defend myself because you are encroaching on our land because your little tentacles just spring up all over the place. <sighs> okay. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, all right. So what do the Fox and Heroes do? Defend. Freedom. <laughs> so I'm playing as Tanthos. I'm going to start in my lair. This is yeah, my, my he lair. He has a lair, guys. How he many good guys have, have a lair? Batman. He's got a bat cave. It's still a lair. It's not a lair. It's a bat cave. Underneath his mansion. <laughs> okay. The goal of the game for me is to get all six of my tentacles on the board. I start with one in my lair. Mm -hmm. I start here in this area. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this is a very interesting game, uh, at least even like for in many regards, but even for the placement mm -hmm. of the board. If you've ever played Lord of the Rings The Confrontation, it does something similar where the board is actually at a like 90 degrees. Like mm -hmm. you've got the corners. So you actually play corner to corner, not necessarily edge to edge, yeah. which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and so I start here, Lizzie starts there. Uh, and this is a game of action management, uh, hand management, and... Yeah, you're trying to defeat me. You're trying to take me down. And I'm trying to get all six of my tentacles out. That's mm -hmm. it. Each of the guardians, this is a guardian board, they all have asymmetric goals. Um, but the fox and heroes always play the same in the, fa in the fact that they are defending their territory against the their guardian. Their town. Their village with all the babes. <laughs> with all the babes. The babes. The babes. Uh, what up, Jimmy Harp? Great to see you. Thanks for popping in here. I see Joe Woods here, Josh Schwartz, Kevin Grote, Keith Farmer. Uh, so I am yeah. playing. There are four different leaders I can choose from. I have chosen the Queen of Blessing. Why is that? Like, why did you choose her? I am a queen, obviously. Anyway, so she has a special ability. Um, as I am playing, one of my actions is to gain these power cubes, and mm -hmm. she can hold one. Um, you can use them to take an extra action, or her special power is to heal. I can heal one, or I can remove one wound from any hero unit. Right. And uh, I'm going to try to defeat Lizzie's heroes mm -hmm. uh, with a number of different actions. I've got things like shock, 
uh, crush, pull, I can pull you in. So I, I'm very like area controlish, mm -hmm. like manipulating the area with my tentacles, which is super dope. Um, super dope. My tentacles are sweet. Oh. All right, so we just go. I'm gonna have four cards in my hand. Lizzie, okay, I think, has five. five. I get two actions on my turn, and Lizzie gets three. Mm -hmm. um, so, so there's a couple different yeah. actions I can take. I can summon, which is to place um, a character down, which then would allow me to place one of the little meeples matching out on the board. And they're going to either start in the town or one of the adjacent spaces. Uh, I can also play what's on the card. So those are things like move, mm -hmm. leap, uh, melee, that kind of thing. Or I can discard a card to, to prepare, draw two. which means I'm going to draw two. So I get three actions. I can do any combination of those. And one of the cool things about the game is the fact that you can discard to draw two, which is great for Nothing cycling nice. through your deck. Yeah. Especially once you know what's in your deck and you're trying to find a certain card, mm -hmm. uh, or fishing for a, that is really cool. A hand that it's just like I, there's nothing in here I can use instead of being right. stuck with it. I love that they give me that option. You also draw back up to your hand limit at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. If you happen to be at your maximum hand limit, uh, you still draw a card. Mm -hmm. So you're never like Locked you're still going totally, yeah. through your deck, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, I believe the Fox and Heroes go first. Mm -hmm. um, I always take the first turn. You always take the first turn, and I'm just going to show some layout of the cards. So you'll see in the top left, mm -hmm. these are icons and symbols for the actions listed on the card. Mm -hmm. Every card is multi-use, so there's a top and a bottom action. So usually the top lets you move, mm -hmm. and the bottom allows you to activate an ability of either your hero or the guardian. Uh, one of the cool things is Lizzie will try to, and this is my favorite part of the game and why I talked about it being a little reminiscent of Shadows of the Colossus is that if I'm on the board and Lizzie moves into my space, she can actually leap onto me as a character and start scaling me to deal damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lizzie's characters can actually shut off my ability to activate like my pole or my shock or my crush. I have cards and I have one in my hand. Uh, this mend action mm -hmm. will let me take hearts back. Mm -hmm. So to heal to heal. Yeah, I'll get to heal. So there you know, there's there's some cool stuff I went immediately also if I defeat the leader uh, Which was this this one here? Mm -hmm. So you usually the fox in here never wants to leave it alone because if it's with another character I have to target that character before targeting your leader mm -hmm. um, and things like that. So mm -hmm. Okay, I think I think we're good. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and take your turn and just kind of describe what's happening and yeah Okay. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. I'm going to put my archer out. So we have different characters. So this one is a blue archer, and I have two, and they have different symbols on their stomach, which tells me which one is out so that I can keep track of them because he will kill one. Like if this one was to hop up on him, mm -hmm. this is the one that's going out, and he was to deal damage, I know that this is the one that I get rid of. Yeah, So it, that's another really cool way that lets you keep track of all your characters. And you can even see all your characters listed. Yeah, mostly, yeah. All of them have icons on them. Yeah, you can shift things over. we got room. Uh, and then you get fast. three actions, so... Well, what also, up? Oh wait, hang on. Oh, I didn't know we got a lot of I'm people just here. jumped in here. Uh, Ellen, Larry, Katie, I am gonna put Hunter, a Melanie. Knight out. Hello. It's of course over on Facebook. Yeah. People and then... hanging out on a Saturday night. Yeah. You know, I might as well. I'm gonna put an archer. You must not have anything better to do if you're watching us play this game. I'm just saying. J.K., we're awesome. That's so rude. Uh, for us? Just all around. <laughs> Oh man! I'll put Thanks for being here. We love we everybody. Appreciate you. We love you. Okay. I don't say that sarcastically. Taken... We do love you. I know. Was I being sarcastic? No. I'm just saying so they know. Okay, I've taken my three actions. I've just placed three heroes out on the board to defend my kingdom. <sighs> okay. Now Derek gets to take his two actions, yes, and I've drawn I do. back up by so five. Uh, yeah, so one of the things, usually when you play this game, you'll sit across from each other, so we're mm -hmm. sitting next to each other, which kind of creates this weird dynamic. Yeah, we're doing that so awkward thing. So, we're doing that awkward, like, I'm gonna sit next to you. So look at my cards. So, when we play our cards, we technically would play them in this orientation. Which is uh, gonna give you a better idea. Which is that, yeah. How to move things. Yep, yep, yep. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to tunnel. And mm -hmm. tunnel lets me place my next, uh, tentacle on the board in any open region. So Lizzie's going to want to try to spam the board with Fox and Heroes mm -hmm. to try to stop me from, because uh, I can only place them in places where there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will tunnel, and then I get one more action, and I will 
Oof, I don't want to waste that. Oh man, I don't want to waste any of these. These are so good. Mm -hmm. So good. Uh, I'm gonna discard this card to draw two. That takes me to my limit, but I still draw one regardless. Mm -hmm. So still okay. net net plus one there. So I am going to missile. So my archer, this one. Jimmy said that they spent the day at the local corn maze. That sounds fun. Precious. Yeah, I got my campy creatures hat here. This is uh, I'm trying to get spooky for for Halloween time. Anyway, Archer, fire from a surrounding ground space. Deal one wound to any guardian location. So, uh, wait, guardian location. This is your guardian. Yeah. Hold on. I mean, otherwise, I would not be able to attack that. Fire from a surrounding ground. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Boo. And then I am going to. Gain one I power. say boo to you. Getting rid of my cards. And then I will discard this to draw two. Mm -hmm. That was one of your leaps. Double leap, even. It's a double leap, it's true. So double leap would allow Lizzie to either move two spaces up on or to have two characters leap one, one space. So that's mm -hmm. actually a really good card. I'm surprised you got rid of that. Did you get, is that. Was that another double leap or no? no just regular leap. And then I will finish my turn. That was three actions. Oh, Kevin uh, Renaud said go Lizzie. There you go. Of course, Team Lizzie. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to advance. <sighs> bringing in Tanthos. Oh, man. Then I'm going to tunnel. And that's it for me. You done go. messed up, eh, Aaron? Oh, did I? Okay. I said bring it. I am going to scatter. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to... Yeah, just play it in that orientation. Doesn't do what you thought, huh? Doesn't no, it you... does. Because if I'm in this one, I can move here. That's correct. Yeah. So now that is what I wanted. So I'm going to go here. And so my knight's ability is when entering the guardian's ground space, this hero unit may take one free leap action. I'm going to leap. Weep. All right, so you're on my tentacle. I am. So I'm going to melee. Wow. Rude. What do I do to you? And uh, Rude. trying to shut down my tunnel. I'm a melee. Oh, <laughs> wow, jerk. Okay. I'm just trying to sprout my tentacles here. Uh, fine. Okay. That's my three. Fine, I say. <laughs> so I need to like figure Move out what. This... I know we're like sitting here. Like, I'm like, looking wait, at my which cards. way does this go? How do I do this? I don't get it. Uh, okay, I'm going to uh, shock you. Shocky. Shock okay, How much so health does I have? My knight has... Get out of here. Okay, so he is just... Gone. This will go to my discard pile. I may... Get off me. Draw them at a later time. Unfortunately, you didn't... I did damage you, yeah, your you tunnels, did damage so you me, cannot so. use that. Well, I have two tunnels. I know. So, yeah, you've taken down one of them so far. Okay. <laughs> Kevin says, of course, secretly hoping uh, going for Derek to win, you know, but mm -hmm. it's okay. You know, if you just say Team Funkhauser, you're going to win. Okay. One of us will win. So, Hopefully, maybe. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put my rogue out. I'm going to put him here. I believe, yes. Then I'm going to play Proceed, which is going to allow me to go forward onto you. Yep. And the rogue may... You have um, a rogue out? Yeah. Yes. It says, when this hero unit takes a leap action. You oh, haven't left yet. You haven't oh, left. God. You're just sharing just my space. I'm with you. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Mm, hang on. No, I'm going to do it and hope for a leap. Okay. Hope for a leap. Um, I will, however, missile. So, I mean, Jerk. they both are the same... So I can place one. So, uh, yeah, so there's two different actions with the archer. Mm -hmm. um, they both have fire. There's there's fire and hurl. Mm -hmm. So those are two different things. Fire comes from uh, a surrounding space, and hurl has to come from that mm -hmm. uh, space where I'm located. My sentinel has hurl. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do your other tunnel. Your sentinel is cool because... So I did one. It has okay. both melee and ranged. Mm -hmm. And your archer has only ranged, and... Some of them, yeah. yeah so, so you have two archers on the board. Leave. I have both. Oh my, my gosh, archers on the board. this is not looking good. So we're going to, we're going to retreat. Tanthos. That's right, you are. Move back, and then 
Uh, I guess I can probably play my card here to show what I've done. Um, hmm. I don't really want to waste that, but I really need it. We're going to go ahead and mend, and I'm going to take that off. Okay. And it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a second rogue out there. This, this game, by the way, is absolutely gorgeous. Like, if there's one thing, mm -hmm. like, for, Pencil First and uh, Edo do a lot of things well. Uh, I don't think I've ever played a game I didn't like from them. They really, like, hit it for me. But if there's one thing, it's amazing artwork. <laughs> this one is no exception. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to slant left. And, like, you know, when we get to the review part of this, we'll show you the box uh, to show you what it looks like inside. It's fantastic. Stop trying to go everywhere. My turn. No, I have one more. Oh, hey, look, my mom's watching. Hi. Hi, mom. I'm going to gain two power, and then I'm going to... Yep, so your power goes to your pool, and at the end of your turn, you're going to distribute it to mm -hmm. your characters. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is tunnel. I'm not really sure where to play these. I'm going to do it here. Uh, we're going to put this out here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to tunnel again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Placing one there. And then I will... So I played this as a wild. Uh, it's an any action, which is really helpful. Um, I can't take any movement with this card, but I can activate all of... All my actions on... On my character card. Mm -hmm. So I took those. I'm going to draw the rest of my deck, which means that when I need to draw again, I will shuffle my discard together and draw. So I've gone through my deck and I found the card I was looking for. Yep. I'm going to move. So I will go here and then I will leap. You're moving into my area? Oh yeah. my gosh, which and side do you want to go, left or right? Onto any part of the Guardian. Why is that? Because of this because rogue? Because of the rogue. The hero unit takes a leap action, uh, they, may, they attack. may attach to any Guardian. So location. where do you want to go? You got my shock, you've got pull, crush. Everything goes out from crush. So you have to follow these dotted lines mm -hmm. whenever you move up the uh, character. Put me on crush. Okay. So from this location, Lizzie can go anywhere she wants with I will that. Melee. Okay. Dang, not looking so good for me. I did win this earlier. <laughs> yeah, but I forgot that part of his goal was to get all the tentacles out, and so yeah, I didn't pay really attention. Just slowly... I was going for the body, and then he's like, oh, I have all but one of my tentacles out. I'll win next turn. And I was like... <laughs> I'm going to move this tentacle in this location here. Hmm. And then I'm going to uh, gain a power. So I will use this to gain my power. And at the end of my turn, I will. I can only hold one power cube, mm -hmm. uh, which kind of limits me, but I'm also a lot stronger than Lizzie is. Mm -hmm. So it balances out. Okay, I'm going to melee. So I'm going to take away your crush. I say I'm a lot stronger, but Lizzie's also doing really well. Mm hmm. I will put a knight out. This one. So put here. What's the health of the rogue? Two? Mm hmm Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, would Maneuver let me move this one in here? Not sure. No. No. Because Maneuver would be here, it'd be here, 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 or here. So in this location, it's only here or here. You only move these locations, or you could actually move here. You okay. see what I'm saying? It moves you in those, so you can move to this location or this location mm -hmm. based on okay, the so orientation. Okay, so I could move this one here, though. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Okay, so that's three. Okay. So, is that your archer? 
Is this Who your is archer? archer yes. Okay, I gotta get rid of those. They're so annoying. So I'm going to pull the archer into these tentacles, and then I'm going to crush it, dealing two damage to your archer. Oh, it only needs one. You wanna waste it? Oh. No, you can't use crush. Why can't I use crush? Crush is gone. Oh, <gasps> you got rid of my crush. I got rid of your crush, oh, babe. Oh, you are the worst. Yeah, you gotta pay attention to your wow. abilities. Wow. Come on, babe. Wow. You did pull me though. Yo. Okay, okay, okay. Well, in that case, hold on. That does change a little bit. Um. Ugh. All right, I'm going to tunnel instead. And then I'm going to pull you into there. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. Okay. So I will missile get rid of this. No. I will blank to move out of there. Dang it. Come back here. And I will put another knight out. Okay, so I need to do this. So my turn's gonna be pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, Lizzie has a rogue on me, it has two life. I'm just gonna double shock uh, to get it off me. So Which one is it? Double shock you. Uh, it's the, should be. Yep. Should be the rogue. Did it have a cube on it? It did. Yes. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use my action cube, thanks for reminding me, to mend my crush. I'm going to need that, I think. And then I'm gonna okay. draw back up to four. Okay, my turn? Yep. I'm gonna missile and I'm gonna redo your crush. Oh my gosh. I don't like it. No, I okay. need it. I know. I need to crush you. Okay, and then I will plant right. So I'm gonna move in here. And I will melee one of these. Oh, okay. All right, well played. And... At least you got, you're getting rid of them back in the same order. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to gain ground. I'm going to now shock you. Shocking the archer to kill it. Uh, I can deal a wound to any hero attached or in my space. Okay. So this archer is bye bye. Okay. And your turn. Okay. Do what I needed. I'm going to move. And this person goes on to the thing when they move into that ground space. So you're moving into and you're coming up. Yep, I'm... Which side? I'll go to the right. Okay. And then I will melee. So you're taking out that tunnel. Yep. Okay. Then I will leap going up to the crush. Yep. And that is it. That's it? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gain a power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dang it. That's also my mend action, but whatever. And then I'm going to... Tunnel. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay. Draw two cards. And it's your turn. Okay. And there's so much you want to do, and it's like, ah. Okay, I'm going to discard this to draw two cards. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna discard this to draw two cards. No, just bugging me. It was on the board. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, so then I am going to leap. Leap. Oh, you're moving. Which way? I'm to pull move up to or the shock? Pole. Okay. And then I'm gonna spend both of these. Okay. To melee, melee, right there. So, pull is now gone. Yes, as is crush. Yeah, crush was already off, and that tunnel's gone too, so. Cool.
Cool. Oh yeah, that would go in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to if I can sequence this correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no. Yes. Okay. Cool. So yes, no. I just need to see if I can do it. It's, it's a puzzle, right? Like and you're trying to figure out the puzzle. The puzzle. Yeah, singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. Yes. Singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. When the the video like slows down and they switch voices and so she's going, yes, yes, yes. Don't remember that. Okay, Have so you seen that I'm going to approach, move in here. Uh, I'm going to use this action cube to tunnel. Mm -hmm. And then I have my last action tunnel, I win. What? I got all my things out there. There were two spaces left. So here's what I did. I, I believe you. Well, no, I know, I just wanna show you. So uh, this you is You wanna show here. how you defeated me once again? I do. For everyone so, watching? I do, I do, because I, I finally won. Uh, so I approached, approached to the right, and I had I had this cube, so I move, mm -hmm. okay, and then I tunnel, and then I use my last action to play the wild to tunnel. You have a wild? Yeah. Don't you have a wild? No. <laughs> that was not part of the. Yeah, it was in the it was in the Kickstarter. It's always been part of it. That was the guardian the always has. Yeah, the guardian always has. Are you sure? The guardian always has. An action card that lets you take any action. I yeah. don't remember you having that. You messed up because you should have taken out my tunnel. I would not have been able to win. You're right. Well, I was I'm not about sure why to. you went. I know you were about to, but I like thought I had one more cube the and I only didn't. way that you could actually stop me from winning was to go from crush to tunnel to shut off my tunnels. Yeah. And then you just wait it out. Like you are just trying to yeah. buy time. That's true. Um, that would have stopped me. I didn't even think about that. Yep. <laughs> Tentacles eat you. Ugh, Tantos is my <laughs> least favorite monster to play against. It's true. Uh, I think did I? I think I live streamed Crack Crack last time. We played that one a lot. Yeah. All right. Anyways, that's how you play Skull Callow. Um, and you know, gave you a general overview, and you can see it played out. Mm -hmm. um, but let's go ahead and do our review. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, but I just kind of want to show off the box. Like, you see the board, obviously. You see the pieces. I just want to show the attention to detail here. And, you know, a lot of people are using game trays nowadays. And I think game trays are awesome. Mm -hmm. I love game trays. But that doesn't mean that a standard, nice uh, insert cannot be done. Mm -hmm. So, Especially if you don't have a ton and ton of pieces. So here's the other characters. So you've got a Poda, and there's a Raptura. And I love that they all are, mm -hmm. like, cut out to their... This is Grack. He's just an awesome freaking bear. And then you have the other boards here. Mm -hmm. They also have listed a star system to show, like, mm -hmm. how difficult they are to play mm -hmm. and also to beat. Uh, and then check this out. Look at this insert. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. Each of the monsters comes with their own box. Yeah, so it's a box. And they come with a little bit of story to it. I mean, this is so cool. Um, this this is a great box. And I want to uh, to note, I know there's a lot of sleevers out there. Uh, a lot of there's people that enjoy of sleeving their cards. So just to show you, uh, I'll just go ahead and do this. I should have had one ready, but go ahead and pop this into a sleeve. This is a standard. Nice sleeve I use for a lot of my games. It fits not only inside the insert, but it will also fit inside the box it comes with. Mm -hmm. That is huge. A lot of people are going to ask questions about that. Mm -hmm. It does fit. Uh, Sleeving is possible. It is. Uh, you got anything, Lizzie? I love this game. I think this is one of the best two-player games that came out this year. It's true. There have been a lot of two-player games this year, I love year, how he asks. If I have anything, and then just I'm continues just, I'm talking. I'm very excited. I love the art. The fox and heroes are cute, but they also look deadly. Cute like it's deadly. not like a it's not like a a root cute or like an Everdale cute. Sure. It's like an impressive cute. It's like a yeah yeah uh, like ferocious right like like they, look at uh, this archer like he's adorable but I also don't want to mess with him yeah like cute I but love it's great yeah, exactly. 
I love it. And again, I'm going to echo Derek and say the insert is amazing. You have a spot for all the tuck boxes. Or if you want to do away with the tuck boxes, for whatever reason, it would still fit the cards and the character pieces. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. um, all the other pieces. So, like, the hearts have their own bags and the power piece have their own bags. And that's what these two spaces are for. There was also a mini expansion that came mm -hmm. with the game. It's called the Relics. Um, and this can be used in order to make the game a little bit easier for uh, the Fox and Heroes against the... Uh, they can, act, I think, spin these to take an action, if I mm -hmm. remember correctly. Yeah, they uh, like yeah here's the Ancient Relics uh, expansion here in the box. So, again, Edo it's completely knocked this one out. fantastic two-player game. I've heard rumors of expanding this universe, I know. which I hope yeah, is look true. At this. Like, this came in the box, and it's got this awesome journal, like, tons of mm -hmm. lore. Uh, well, not tons of lore, but a, a good amount of lore that like makes you wonder what's coming next and what they can put in the game. Mm -hmm. And then a really cool map of the area that they've mm -hmm. created. Uh, and we are here in the Fox Inn. The Fox in here. So there's lots of area where they can spread so out. There's so much. many more guardians that they can develop and add. They can create yep. more heroes. Absolutely. Um, so I'm really looking forward to them hopefully expanding this world. Like Derek said, it's a fantastic two-player game. If you play mostly two-player games and you love asymmetric, this game is totally And guess you. what? Everything you see in this video is available retail. Mm -hmm. All of this th is going to be in the retail version. It is mm -hmm. incredible and what they've like, done. And these are like nice wooden tokens. Yep. The colors are really vibrant. Derek, you don't have any problem telling those apart. Uh, Do you? I don't. Uh, well, I can't see these very well, but I just but look for the icons. But you know they're different. Yeah, I know they're all different. Yeah, I just like, for the icons. You might not know what color that is, but you know that that's not course, that or that. Of course. That's what I was And I just look for the icon. It's fantastic. The but icons are amazing. Currently, it is available in retail, so mm -hmm. go to your local gaming store this weekend or maybe next week, whenever you can, call them, see if they've got a copy if mm -hmm. you're interested. I really, if you're into two-player games and you only play with another person, mm -hmm. definitely pick this one out. Yeah. Absolutely. And you can have fun playing both sides, and there's four different villains to play with. Uh, wow. Four different guardians. And there's guardians. four different leaders that you can play with as well. So you can change up the fox and heroes aren't the same. So I use the queen. There's also a king, a prince. Yeah, where are your, a, queen, your king? I yeah. don't know. There they so are. So the king of war, the prince of guile, and the princess of tactics. So they each have a those? different ability. These are the, they tell me what I need to do or what they can do. Oh, no, these are for me. So oh, this is a cool you? thing, too. So oh. each of these cards, uh, you hand it to your opponent. That way they know exactly, like, Lizzie knows these are the actions that I can take with Tanthos, mm -hmm. and this is how I win the game. So she can track that. And I can also see what her command ability does, mm -hmm. and it gives me an idea of, like, what she draws and how many. So it's really cool. Um, it's a cool way of being able to make sure that your Open opponent information knows. Type Absolutely, thing. yep. Anyway, we've droned on long enough. We enjoy Skull Call, though. Check it out. Thank you for joining us on your Saturday night. We hope you have a good rest of your weekend, and we will catch you Tuesday. Next week. Yep. See you, everybody. Bye.